Do you like Alien Stage? Cool, then this video is kind of for you. But if you haven't seen Alien Stage, I would encourage you to watch along with me. Um, I will put little indicators on which video I watch. So when I have the indicator up, that is your cue to go watch it. And then we can kind of, not really, but kind of talk about it together. And I don't like say too, too much. I kind of am just babbling, but I thought it'd be fun to document. So if you know about Alien Stage, you get to see my initial reaction to watching it for the very first time. And if you haven't seen Alien Stage, we can watch it together, kind of. Or like pause, you watch it, I watch it in a time void. And then we can just be like, ah, if you're interested in that. But that's this video. Okay, past me, what, what do you have for us? What in the world is Alien Stage? <laughs> My Twitter has recently been flooded with these two specifically, along with other characters, and I really feel like it all started two months ago when I watched the music video for an incredible song by Yama called Nisa Kao. I really loved the art in the music video and I wanted to see other art by the artist, so I looked them up. It looks like it was two artists who like worked on it. I'm not sure, I'm not gonna get into the nitty gritty, I don't know how things work, but it looks like one of the entities also work slash created a thing called Alien Stage. Editing me, it looks like both of them work on Alien Stage, which is cool. And you know, the art was pretty and cute. So I was like, oh, let me let me try watching this. And I played a video. I thought it was just typical, you know, Japanese songs with a little animated music video, kind of like what Eve does and Yama and whatever. But based on the posts I've seen on Twitter, it looks like there's an actual plot and there's a lot going on. I keep seeing some pretty, honestly, almost disturbing illustrations that just leave me with so many questions. So I thought just like Plave, it would be fun to document me entering this rabbit hole, if you will. I literally just saw a tweet that was like, all in a universe where the aliens like so-and-so so he gets to live. And I was like, oh, is it called Alien Stage? Because they're performing for aliens? And I'm invested, so that's what I'm doing now. <laughs> Okay, this one, this one with the lady, the lady in the middle, all in, that's the one I started watching. I was like, ooh, pretty, pretty, and then I closed it. I feel like I've also seen this artist do another series, but I may be wrong. So I feel like I've seen them before. I don't know, maybe I'm getting them confused with someone else, but hi, okay. Is Alien Stage just these two? I don't know, man. Okay, so I think, I know one of them is named Ivan. This is so informative. Okay, playlist, Alien Stage. Okay, there's only nine videos. And they're not in order. No, round four is missing. Y'all, I can't do this. Alien Stage in order. <laughs> All Alien Stage media in order. Alien Stage teaser, round one, te round two, teaser, teaser, round five. That's not, wait, is it? Why is there no four? So I'm gonna watch each one, I guess, and then share my thoughts just like played. Okay, that ain't. Ooh, that ain't, okay. So just straight alien stage. I love that song. I love the vibes. This is like, I really feel like at this point, I need to like just broaden my vocabulary because I just do not have the words to describe all the things that I'd be feeling and picking up on in these silly little thingies. But I love like the retro, don't kill me if I'm wrong vibes. I feel like the mixing was a little weird vocally, but I love the instrumental. And there's literally a SoundCloud download for the instrumental. So might be bopping and hopping to that, who knows? That was really cool. Um, There were many moments where my jaw kind of just unhinged and fell on the floor um what do you mean they're kids were they like kidnapped are they test two babies i don't know i have so many questions i'm like honestly so invested good first video that was a great first video this is only a year old i definitely knew i would like be more into the visuals of this but like that song i liked that man i feel like i'm doing a school assignment like i should have been writing notes as i was listening but i really wanted to just focus on my initial thoughts and that whole thing but the whole like their kids are on a spaceship and I know they get older because the clips I've been seeing on Twitter, they're adults. So I'm just like, have they been on the ship this whole time? Were they kidnapped? Are they used for alien entertainment? It's giving cult. They have little, little things on their neck. And I'm like, whoa, whoa. Moving on to, do I even want to watch the teasers? I feel like I will just 
just show like if i i don't know i'll watch the teasers just because it's in the playlist why not oh this scrunkly so playlist not in order the teaser was for alien stage when I actually try to like articulate my feelings at the end, so many like crucial and initial first thoughts just poof out of my brain. But the whole save me thing, gosh. Also, this is Korean. I was so focused on like reading the lyrics and looking at like the visuals that my brain did not register the, the words, the actual like language words coming out. And I was like, oh, like that is Korean. Jibon. Thank you, Sistar, for teaching me Jibon. Wow, I know words, I'm so smart. Does it have an actual name or is it just called Alien Stage? And then like each song is called Round One. Round Two. <laughs> okay, on to round one, which is four minutes long. A minute and 50 seconds into the video. I'm a minute and 50 seconds in and I can tell this is gonna hurt my feelings. Oh, I, I dude, I like feel like I'm going to cry because I, oh my gosh, I'm just filled with an overwhelming sense of doom, impending doom. Like, okay. This is a really pretty song. I see two pretty best friends. <laughs> also, the mixing in this one, Eats, Eats, their vocals are so beautiful. I love me a good duet. The instrumental is so haunting. Oh, and then like, oh, stay by my side. Ooh, my Clementis. Like it makes me wanna like Google what Clementis is. I'll probably look it up later because I kind of just want to go based off what I, I understand in the moment. You know, and maybe that's taking away my experience, but I'm trying to just go in blind and love it for what it is. And I can do my little deep dive later. I don't know, moving on, moving on. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> oh, oh, I knew it. These seconds, <laughs> literally seconds after I unpause it, it goes versus and I'm like, versus? I wonder what this could be for. Ah! Real tea, real tea. The storytelling here, devastating. Lee Beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love creative people. I love artistic people. I love writers. I love everything. Like visual, each medium has its own benefits and its own pros and cons and stuff like that. And I don't think I'm gonna go on like my entire unhinged rant on this opinion, but I really do feel like musicals are like one of the best storytelling mechanisms ever. Even though I don't think this is quite a musical in the way at least my brain thinks of it. The visuals along with like the lyrics, uh, it's so, ow, you know what? I can't help, it. I need to find out what Clementis is because they keep saying it. So it seems like a plant. Clamantis is a genus of about 380 species within the buttercup family. More cultivations are being, okay, what do you mean? What do you mean, nerd? What do you mean? Blooming season symbolism. Give me that symbolism, nerd. In the language of flowers, Clamantis means intelligence. This flowering vine has become a symbol of mental strength because of its ability to climb up around obstacles, twisting and spreading to reach lofty heights. I wonder if flower meanings are different in Korean. Let me see. Flower meaning. Because I could definitely see that working. Korean birth flowers, Clamantis means beauty of the heart. What does it symbolize in Korea? Eternal blossom that never fades. Okay. Does the Clamantis symbolize fourth time just to be sure? Um, yeah, mental strength. Okay, so all of those I feel like could apply. Slay. Owie. Let's move on. Okay, just watch the teaser for round two. And I see the little white haired one, the one all over my timeline. He has, he has a little wire going up into nowhere. I wonder what that's about. I wonder what that's about. Hmm, I wonder what that, that could be. Then there's some ginger guy. I have never seen him once in my life. So he's probably gonna die on a round two, which is only two minutes long. Kind of scared. Hmm. Two seconds into the video. I'm interjecting because it just started and they're like being risen on stage. Their clothes are so boring. They're just wearing white shirts and pants. Boo, boo. The girly pops were dressed to the nines. Boo, boring, down with men. <laughs> yeah, I knew that Ginger was gonna die the second I saw him. <laughs> Anyways, um, unrequited love. Ow. Also his hair is in white, it's gray. 
I don't think that like really, really matters, but I just noticed it. Um, why were there organs in his guitar? Why did everyone react that way? Why does he get tied up? At first I thought, oh, he just looks a little sleep deprived, but he made some expressions like, oh, maybe he like kind of went crazy, which based on the circumstances I've witnessed, not insane, not insane. I just realized, I don't think I've really been talking about like the plotty plot other than I like it, I'm invested. I'm invested, I love me a good unrequited love. This song, great, I love this song. Also, they do have titles in the description. It like has the actual um, song name. Is it just the instrumental though? It doesn't matter. I hope these are on Spotify because I do want to listen to these. I love that voice coming out of this little guy. That's so, ee! Okay, moving on to round three. Just watch the teaser. The black haired one's been all over my timeline. He's kind of scary. I guess more creepy than scary. But word, moving on, we know. Yeah, moving on, round three. Ah! Ooh, that hurted my feelings. I really liked that song, I really liked it. But ooh, black, black as black can be. I'm like, okay, dramatic. Even though, honestly, I'm calling all of them dramatic so jokingly, like under these circumstances, very understandable that they would not be too well adjusted, to say the least. Oh. I don't know if I got words. I feel like it's like just pretty straightforward and just, oh, I guess more unrequited love. All of these kind of feel like unrequited love. This, ooh, I love you. My little silly Ella, you're dead. Oh. Oh, I do remember that Ivan's stare at the very end was so cold blooded, like actually gave me chills. I'm like, oh, bro got his eyes on one prize. Bro got his priorities straight. Moving on. Kitten, please unblock me. Just watch the teaser for round five. Do not know why there's no round four. Actually, that's bothering me so much. Like, hold up. Alien, stay. Reddit, answer me. Okay, there just isn't one, whatever. Um, But yeah, the blonde one's scary. Spooky, he's scaring me. On to the actual round, I guess. I just read the song title in the description and it's called Ruler of My Heart. I get it, you're all in love. Stop hurting my feelings. Ah! Okay, so I think that song's my favorite. Mm. And I didn't know it would be a duet. So, okay. The reason it's stage, stage round five is cause the blonde dude, they just didn't do his battle with someone else. So they just skipped to five where him versus the first girl who won. And oh my gosh, the way the songs have different meanings for both of them, cause it's a duet, they're singing together. Oh my gosh, the song is so beautiful. I love the guitar, I love the vibes. Their outfits are so gorgeous. Um, I was honestly like really shocked and surprised when she started attacking him and then the audience being like, whoa, that's crazy as if like they don't kill off whoever loses each round. Like, why are y'all shocked? You literally cheer and be happy when people die in front of you. Be serious. That was something. I also was not expecting that round. Well, not, not and like, I just wasn't expecting the round to go that way at all. I totally thought the pink one's going to win. So she can fight against Ivan and, you know, go against the little Wooderoo again. But now I'm scared because I'm sure, not Ivan, oh my gosh. But I don't even remember his name, the gray haired one. Like, are they gonna have beef? Because like, you got my girl killed, even though like she started the fighting. I don't know, I'm here for the angst. Man, I should have waited a little longer because now it only goes up to round six and I'm gonna have to actually wait like the rest of you. Boo, what the heck? Okay, there's no teaser for top three but there was a warning for blood and flashing lights. And I'm like, oh wait, did I also say murder? Was that it? I'm like, blood is kind of whatever. Okay, yeah, death, people die. Cool, moving, moving on, watching it, whatever, top three, let's see. Well, so I'm pretty sure it was like pretty obvious, but it was just confirmed, said blatantly, ooh, like they're human pets. And I'm guessing like whoever wins, they're gonna like sell for a lot of money. I don't, I don't know. I'm kind of sad that like they said where Ivan was from, like something, something garden. And then Till, they're just like, he's a rookie. People like his album. 
editing me. Maybe I wasn't paying attention. I probably just got confused because I showed them as kids in different places, but I'm pretty sure they all grew up in the same garden. And then, dang it, what was his name? Whatever, blonde one. His name was in my head for like two seconds. But he won a season and bro came back? It's given Hunger Games. What's wrong with you? Like, mm, you survived once, I'm gonna do it again. Maybe he's trying to die. That would make sense, I guess. Silly, silly little weirdo. On to Mizusua. Yippee. I'm not gonna lie. They got me real good when they started playing the melody of the Clementis song. Oh. That was very simple, I guess. I don't know, I don't have words for this one. Uh, moving on to teaser for All In. Yippee is the pink one. Gonna escape, ooh, so excited. I just watched the teaser and from the little snippet I heard, it doesn't sound bad, so. And also, according to my history, I've seen this whole video before. So, did I watch the whole thing and go, mm, not for me and move on with my life? Or is this YouTube misremembering? Am I misremembering? Are we both misremembering? Find out. Maybe my opinion just changed. It's been a minute, I guess. Okay, all in. <laughs> okay. I don't hate the song. I feel like I'm having way for love all over again. It was just kind of underwhelming. I really like the lyrics and the chorus is fun, but overall the song was kind of just, just kind of like a plateau the whole time. I like the story. The, what's, I think her name was Hyuna. Like she had Hyuna on her chest. Maybe that's her name, but it seems that she has something going on with the blonde thing. Interesting. I'm invested. I'm invested wested. I was a little confused with some of the parts because near the beginning where it's like implied that the pink one has already like escaped with Yuna, her hair is long, but then her hair gets shot off. Also, she looks really cute with short hair. Like, oh my gosh, uh, I'm like, so that there's only two videos left and one of them is a teaser. Okay, moving on with the story. Goodness. Bye now. Okay. There, that was, there was a lot in there. I hate needles. Like what, what in the world are they even doing to them? Like, oh, uh, oh. Uh. I kind of don't want to find out. Party wants to like just run away and be in ignorant bliss. But it's like there. I'm going to sit through it. I started it. I got to finish it. I got to finish it. The other day, my wife asked me if I could stop cracking my heart. Well... I really like that song, um, the instrumental. Great. What a, what a fun instrument. I really like the nah, 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 nah. Uh, I can't, I can't replicate it, but the whole little nah, 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 like that whole part, especially my ears, happy about it. Well, I saw like the little ending clip all over Twitter, but boy, does it, it hits different. Boy, does it hit different. Once again, do what? Them singing the same words but it has different meanings because of the characters. And I'm just like, ah! Gonna just crawl out of my skin real quick. I'm not gonna lie. There were some scenes in this where I was just like, ah, uh, stomach just dropping out. Just e uncomfy. Ooh, no thank you, you know? No thank you, <laughs> That That was alien stage. Up to round six. Overall thoughts? I want to know how this ends. Thankfully, these seem to only come out like every few months, which gives me plenty of time to like not get overwhelmed and bored of it. I feel like I might actually be excited when the next teaser drops. But I don't know. My interests wax and wane. Wax and wane. I really like the music. The storytelling is just so... Mm, I love showing. I love when stories show you things, you can imply things. And honestly, I might venture out into the interwebs and read other people's thoughts and interpretations and theories because there are like quite a few things that are kind of open for interpretation open to the imagination if you will and i like hearing others opinions and so far the tweets i've seen about this have been relatively normal so i'm not scared that i'm gonna like see something like stupid or too brain dead obviously brain rot is everywhere even the bad kind but yeah alien stage that is a story it is a thing that exists.
And I need to add all of these songs except for one, actually maybe two to my playlist.